Well, good evening, friends. Cumberland Outdoorsman here, and I was getting ready to do another review on an old Marlin rifle here, but as I came out here, I spotted a groundhog, another one here in the backyard. So I went in there and got my 222, and I'm just waiting to see if he'll show back up. If he comes out this evening, maybe we'll get a shot at him. Okay, there he is, folks. It popped out. Well, I think we got him. I don't believe he ever knew what hit him. Let's go take a look here. There he is. Well, folks, like I said before, I normally don't bother them, you know, when I see them out and about. But when they get around my outbuildings and they start tunneling and burrowing, I'm afraid they're going to get under my house and ruin my foundation. So I do what's ethical, you know, do away with them as quick as I can. And that's where the 222 comes in real handy. Well, folks, there's that groundhog. As you can see, he's a pretty good sized varmint. But you know, he's fair game for the 222 Remington. And uh, this little Remington Model 788, this is the first year production for this particular model here. Um, it's extremely accurate. At 100 yards, it'll shoot into a dime just about every time. And what I'm shooting out of it is the Sierra Blitz King 50 grain with a polymer tip. It's got a Remington case, CCI primer, and I'm shooting right at 20 grains of H4198. And that does really well in this rifle. The 222 Remington is the parent cartridge for a lot of popular cartridges now, such as the 223 or the 556. Um, one cartridge that's pretty much obsolete now is the 222 Remington Magnum, which is still a fine cartridge. You know, it outperforms the 222 and the 223, but it's just no longer being used very much there are still some folks out there that have them and I know that they they just love the guns you know love that caliber but for some reason it's been overshadowed by a lot of the other calibers now the 222 is also the parent cartridge for the 221 fireball which was a pistol a pistol cartridge 
um, that came out many years ago and Remington released a bolt-action pistol that shot that cartridge and uh, also it's the parent cartridge for the 204 Ruger, uh, the 17 Remington, I think the 17 Fireball as well and um, even the 300 Blackout they can all attribute their existence to this parent cartridge which the 222 Remington was the beginning of all of those other cartridges. Honestly, um, that was an easy shot. That's the second one that I've eliminated out here this spring. There was another one that I shot almost in the same place. And the reason I removed these pests is because I'm afraid they're going to get under my house, like I mentioned, you know. But uh, here's a clip from the last one that I shot. I didn't have the camera on when I shot that one, but uh, <laughs> I made a successful kill on that one as well. Well, I tried to get the shot on camera, but I forgot to hit the record button like an idiot. But anyway, I've got a groundhog here that's been burrowing in my outbuilding. And I spotted him this morning, but he ran back in there because he saw the movement there and uh, when I came around the house. So, I just waited him out and I loaded my 222 Remington and he came back out and I was able to make a clean shot. Got him laid out here, so a pretty good sized groundhog. I guess they're starting to come out of their burrows now that the weather is warming up. But uh, this is the setup that I used. Remington 788, chambered in 222. And let's see, the cartridge. The cartridge is a hand load. And here it is. 222 with a 50 grain Sierra Blitz King has that polymer tip on the front of it and I'll tell you what it really does a number on them <laughs> that groundhog never knew what hit him so there's the 222 in action once again that's the third one I've annihilated out here I just don't want them digging under my buildings you know I don't bother them when I see them out in the woods or out in the fields but when they come around my property and cause destruction I have to do something about it so anyway folks I don't know where these groundhogs are coming from they're coming out of these woods somewhere and there's a field down below here I'm just guessing they're probably coming from that field and they come up here and they see these outbuildings that I've got here and they'll tunnel under the outbuildings I'm just afraid they're gonna get under my house you know and that's the reason I eliminate them they're pretty much a pest or a varmint for me um, but anyway even though they're a varmint or a pest, I still feel that it's necessary to, you know, dispatch that critter as quickly and as humanely as I possibly can. And as you saw, I mean, as soon as that bullet hit him, it was lights out, just lightning fast. You know, that groundhog never knew what hit him. So he didn't suffer. He didn't cripple away and, you know, crawl away. And I have seen that before, you know, with other caliber such as the 22 long rifle or the 22 magnum where they've gotten away and gotten in their burrows um, imagine they probably died you know maybe hours later but with that cartridge right there they're down for the count right there you know right on the spot as you could see super accurate very mild mannered has a very long barrel life very long case life and just a pleasure to shoot the 222 Remington. And for those of you that still have one, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So anyway, folks, I hope you all thought this was useful information because if you run across a 222 chambered rifle, you know, it doesn't matter what make it is, if it's in good shape, it's going to be a good shooter because inherently it's extremely accurate. The 222 Remington was the Benchrest champion 
of all the other calibers, you know, and it still will outperform many other calibers out there, many other chamberings. But if you run across a good one, believe me, you'll have a winner on your hands. And, you know, out to 275, even 300 yards, the 222 Remington will get the job done. And remember, if you like to go hunting, fishing, camping, shooting, hiking, whatever your outdoor pursuit happens to be, I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. But also remember this, hit that like button, smash the bell icon, and subscribe. That way you'll know when more videos like this one will be coming your way. So until next time, y'all take good care of yourselves and get out there and enjoy the great outdoors. And if you go shooting, have fun, but just make sure you do it safely. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.